how to use the shape tool in real world paint. The shape tool can be used in both vector layer and raster layer. Using it in vector layer is better because you can adjust the shape at any time. Select the shape tool and click a few times. Now instead of simple clicking, press the mouse button and move the mouse a bit before releasing it. Play with it for a while. Simple clicks create sharp corners where press, more, move, release actions result in smooth transitions through the click point. Note how the line between the green point and your mouse indicates where the next vertex will be placed in the shape. Look at the control handles. There are three colors. The blue ones are placed where you clicked. Try moving them around. Then there are the brownish ones. They control tangents at the vertices. Moving them affects the arcs between two blue points. The green ones are special. They represent the arcs and allow you to split them. Right click and choose End Subpath from the context menu. The line following your mouse disappears and further clicks will not add vertices to this shape. Instead you can move the drawn shape or scale and rotate it if you press and hold the shift key. Clicking on empty space will start a whole new shape. What if you want to add more vertices to your shape? There are multiple ways. You can, for example, right-click one of the green points and select Add points here. And then start clicking as before. You can run this command at any time to change the insertion point. A different approach with its own advantages and disadvantages is dragging the green control point. Note that it only moves on the arc between its two neighbor blue points. Once you release it, it splits the arc at the selected point without changing its shape. Every shape may consist of multiple subpaths. Select the Start New Subpath command and place a new shape inside your existing shape. The interior path defines a hole. Observe what happens when the subpaths intersect. We say something else than placing two separate shapes one over the other. Right-clicking brown vertices gives you the option to delete a tangent, creating a sharp edge. The green points have the most commands, but they are only shown when certain conditions are met. There is the replace with line command and replace with arc command. The later is only shown if it is possible to replace the arc with a close enough approximation of an ellipse arc. The last command is a reflect shape. It only appears if the green point lays on a straight segment. Do not forget that you can convert other objects to shape. Starting with a different tool and switching to shape later can save you time. Right click and select convert to shape. Now we can move the vertices. 
or add a new ones. Shapes can have their, their interior filled using any fill style and they may have outlines drawn by solid colors. Now you know what are the capabilities of the shape tool. Mastering it requires a bit of practice. Don't give up. Thanks for watching.